Okay, we'll see how long I can last up here. It's insanely hot, but uh, and I shouldn't, you know, I should be waiting till nighttime, but I don't know if uh, when I'm going to wake up. Uh, like my sleep schedule is a bit off. So, anyways, um, I do think I'm starting to clue in a little bit more with the rules. Um, also, perhaps, like I've said before, I'm, I can't wait. To, uh, well, I'm, I'm eager to do um, more games. Because it's neat. Uh, so there's going to be, I think, four combats. I'm probably still going to make a mistake uh, or two. Uh, but anyways, I think three out of the four um, combats, which is going to be interesting, is the uh, the fact that um, uh, there's going to be no uh, return fire, just due to the fact that I think, well, for example, uh, this one that's going to be uh, fired on, uh, they're observed, so are my and I looked it up, um, so my attack strength um, into that target hex is going to be halved for everybody shooting at that place. I'm really liking this idea of attacking the target hex and not, it doesn't matter what's there. It's very interesting. I really like this. Well, it's because, I mean, there's no tanks and that type of stuff, right, at this moment in time or whatever. It's, this is really, I really like it. Um, so that person is uh, doing interdicting fire over to here. Like I said, was not a good idea, but I, I just was like, well, I want to see what happens. So they're going to be able to attack without return fire there, but their attack strength is going to be halved. As far as I know, I've got a direct line of fire, or um, remember it's from the center of the hex to the center of the hex. These guys move too much. Oh yeah, I did make a mistake. I have not been looking at the terrain, a uh, movement terrain costs, and I'm just been, I just didn't. I've only only been looking at the defensive value. Um, so I think even maybe these guys probably are um, should not be able to shoot. But I'm gonna go with it anyways. Like I said, I'm, I'll correct mistakes as I go along. So this, I think these guys get to shoot. These guys get to shoot, and I think. This guy gets to shoot as well, the artillery piece. He's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Remember, it's 15 due to the fog. And I think from what I've been reading about this artillery piece, this artillery piece, uh, artillery are allowed to fire over. Um, uh, they don't consider um, enemy or uh, friendly terrain uh, uh, units uh, in between the target hex as... Um, uh, blocking terrain or whatever, but it's it's still observed so as far as I know. Okay, so we've got that good. Yeah, I started moving some units out of the way quite a bit when I started realizing they were going to be observed. Another wrinkle I'd like to take a look at later is what happens if, let's say, for example, the artillery piece, like I moved, I think, uh, this machine gun from here to there. Uh, what would happen if I thought, okay, they are still there, and I take a shot? Would that mean that this should be an eliminated marker for a turn? Therefore, I'm, I'm doing interdicting fire in a bizarre way, but full on. It's it, that'd be neat to uh, to uh, explore. Anyways, I'm also going to be doing. Uh, uh, this is they're going to um, uh, take a shot here. It's not very good, but I might as well see if there's a possibility I can. Um, uh, disrupt those units in the in that part of the town of town B there. That would be nice So I can swoop in at some point and try to get a better chance because these guys are in good defensive defensible terrain All right, so, and there's a possibility I think as far as I know these guys are still observed even though I'm adjacent. Maybe I'm wrong however, because I am adjacent to them I think I'm still able to get my doubling of a attack bonus which is great it just brings me right back to square one in a you know because I get halved again but at least I'm going in with um, three and then uh, this guy will go in with three as well because it's a six so that's uh, we'll do this combat first just for fun uh, oops sorry uh, no I wanted to do this guy so he's a three on a eight yeah I could have shot on him as well eh? oh well I did go with it, so damn it, you you silly little bugger. What would that have helped though? Six to eight. No, it'd still be one to two. So you, that was a good idea, I think. All right, but the other one could be one to th no, still one to two. Okay. Um, so here we go. I'll try to 
yeah, I wish I could have put the camera the other way. I could probably get it a bit uh, closer to all the action, but all the, the stuff that I'm not reading enough of is over there. So we'll take a look and see where the... Um, see if you guys can see something. Yeah, I hope. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting CRT. It doesn't mean uh, like it's uh, some kind of like linear thing, but, like from one to the other. Like there's uh, the E's and the D's and the O's kind of are spread out in some interesting uh, way. So, all right, here we go. So that's, uh, like I said, that's going to be uh, three on a defensive value of eight. So that's um, two to one, as far as I know, unless we're always going to go into the defender's favor. I don't know what... Um, well, it says, hold on here, um, I don't see anything here that says it. Hmm. Well, supposedly it's a bloody game, so let's go with uh, one to two and not uh, one to three. All right. That's a one, so that would be even, well, like I said, though, there, there, some weird things happen. So it's a D result, which means uh, I put on a disrupted marker on the enemy phase, which I think means next turn that um, thing is um, still there, as far as I know. But um, uh, oh goody! Um, but um, they will not be able to f um, initiate. Um, Mutual fire, which would be great. Which is precisely what I wanted to have happen. It'll get removed next turn, but they won't be able to fire, I think. Um, they won't be able to initiate fire, which is precisely what I wanted to have happen. So not bad. I'm pretty darn happy with that. Um, now we're going to go with this one, which is also a 1 to 2, I do believe. Yeah, they're in the town. See, this is a nice thing. I don't even have to look underneath the stack. At this moment in time, um, that's pretty nice. But these guys are obviously going to be able to shoot back. Um, oh, is there? It's just one unit, eh? Yep. Okay. So it's a three. One to two odds. And it's a three on a one to two. So they're going to end up being disrupted in the enemy phase. And they're a 14. Uh, they're probably going to nail that horrible, uh, well, you never know though. So that guy's out in the open and that's a 2. So that's 7 to 1 odds. That's the best you can get. It's a auto eliminated. So they're gone. But then I put a enemy disruption marker there. Hold on, let me see if I can find one. Oh, there's one. So, I'm learning, like, Jesus. Yeah, it was interesting to hear about uh, like the Japanese lost um, half their forces in this battle. <laughs> they probably had me as their general, but uh, my Henry Mike was mentioning as well, while they didn't have a lot of land combats, they were far more, um, uh, their um, contribution to the war effort was far more uh, uh, maritime uh, in nature. Okay, so now I've done two combats there, and I've got two left, as far as I know. So I've got this guy here going observed. He's going to be halved to five and a half. Well, we'll just say five. For, like that I'll do, if that makes any sense. I'll go that way. And I'm going in um, on woods. And woods are five. So that's one to one odds. Okay. And it's a four. So a four on one to one odds is a uh, enemy disruption. Jeez. What an interesting, uh... oh, look, look. oh man, I'm dripping all over the place. It's insane. Insane. Yeah, I was uh, this morning actually looking at um, the Great War at Sea rules and, oh, I gotta put that thing back. And, uh, well, cause I guess it doesn't really matter because they can't do any interdicting fire if they're disrupted. Um, okay, and then this guy here, so that's um, um, one, two, three. Uh, I should have used, uh, I don't know, I think I already said I was going to do that. No, what's there? One, two, three, one. Nope, there's no way. 
All right, so that's, um, yep, yeah, like I said, oh yes, I could have fired over there and I didn't clue in, I think. So it's 22 to uh, 5, as far as I know, because they're in the woods. So that's 4 to 1 odds. That's not bad. Um, well, like I said, though, the uh, numbers get, oh my god, it must be insanely hot because I am like dripping all over the place. Anyways, I, yeah, I put a big sweat drop in the Great War at Sea rules. I was like, oh shoot. Okay, so one on four to one. So that's an E. Wow. Interesting. But then I put a, um, oh shoot, what am I doing? Yeah, they can shoot back. No, they, yes, they can. They can pick a target. So, um, geez, Chris. But they're all in woods. That'll be interesting. So that's a, a one to two odds. Because they're a strength point of three. But it's a five. And a five is, is an O. No effect. Wow. But now I put one of those um, eliminated markers. So no one can go there next turn, I think. And then it gets removed afterwards. I'll take a look. But that's, um, and then I get rid of these. Wow. I think I did that right. And then we're going to go off to the uh, the Central Powers turn. Um, yeah, and um, so, I mean, 13th scenario. Well, I just finished reading um, a blog about this game. And I didn't, yeah, I forgot to mention that. It's, uh, there are, oops, shoot. I, I was putting a shirt on for um, purpose. Um, There's 14 scenarios, 13 of which are uh, specifically uh, for a two-player. Obviously, you can solo, but the other, the last one uh, is um, tailored uh, for um, being solo. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, hopefully that went well. I'll take a look, and um, like I said, we'll be off to the Central Powers turn, but this has been um, quite... So it's a company-level tactical game. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I'll go take a look in that... Uh, um, I'll go and see who the person recommended. Um, I go take a look at the Great War Commander and I'll say what level that is. That'll be neat to see. Okay, catch you later. I hope you're having fun. Bye.